of this as a chopped bonus round. Once again, we're turning the tables on our judges and letting them get their hands on some of our most intriguing, infuriating, and just plain weird baskets. This one's especially cool for me because I actually get to cook. Chris Santos has graciously agreed to monitor our work. Take it away, Chris. Hey, guys. Hello. You saw three competitors uh, attempt to make delicious entrees out of crab legs, green asparagus, Mexican wedding cookies, and sweet vermouth. The Mexican wedding cookies, don't forget, will burn quickly. And you got to get enough crab out of these legs because it is an entree, and that, that can take some time. Well, if I need a little help, you uh, hop in? Yeah, we'll see how it goes. You ready for this? Yep. We've reached the point of no return. 30 minutes starts now. Right. Ted, you're getting the crab in right away. Why are you doing that? The crab is cooked, but it's frozen. And it's frozen pretty solid. I really can't get into the crab until it's thawed. But if you'll excuse me, Chris, I hate to leave you all alone, but I gotta go shopping. Hey. Okay. Behind you, Mark. Woo! You big lunk. Mark Murphy, you have an idea what you're making right off the bat? I'm gonna try to make a nudi, which is a type of pasta. It's just made with ricotta, eggs, and uh, flour. Ted's already got his crab in the water. Well, I'm not putting my crab in the water because I don't want to wash all that flavor away. Mark, are you dissing my technique, dude? I didn't. Oh, I didn't, did I say something? I'm only putting them in the water for a minute. What are you doing? What are you up to? I am going to make crab pot pie. Oh, really? Puff pastry or dough, or are you going to make I'm actually dough? going to make a, a savory crumble with the uh, Mexican, Mexican wedding, wedding cookies. cookies. Very nice, very nice. Manit, I hate you for the idea of making a pot pie. That's a, great, that's a great idea. So, Ted, what's your, what, are you, what are you making? Any idea yet? I'm going to make a crab cake. What style of crab cake are you using? Is it a Maryland style? Is it a... Is it a it's a Ted style. Yours is going to be a mayonnaise base, yeah? Yes. That's typical of what you would find in New England. Mark, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just chopping up all this crab. I'm going to make a sauce. You got to... You gotta, Got a little mess here. The good thing about cooking and chopped is you don't have to clean up. Somebody else does that. Guys, 15 minutes. Half the time is gone. So How are you doing on time? It's 12 minutes to go. Uh, I. <sighs> okay. We'll see. <laughs> what do you think? Huh. It's like a little dumpling almost. Exactly. It tastes like a ricotta dumpling. There you go. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. Mark, you feeling good about your pasta? I am feeling so good about this, babe. OK, because you guys have five minutes left. Go! Five minutes. Woo! It's a little late for tasting creativity, Whoa. but you still got plenty of time for presentation. Whoa. It broke. Shoot. Take it out, put a little Dijon mustard and egg yolk in there, and then drizzle that back in. Thanks for the cheating. Now that's a main course that's got enough crab in it. It's got a nice, oh, I am so happy with this dish. I'm gonna make an extra serving for myself. Watch out! Uh, uh. Mm, the balance of flavors is delicious! Uh. And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and time is up. Woo! How'd you guys do? Everything all right over there? Yeah, Manit, okay, let's get it. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, nice job. Any wine? Please. Uh, oh, sure. Please. <laughs> I saw some uh, hard work and chefs in that kitchen. I think the thing that really got the competitors before in terms of the crab shell, once you get it out of the out exterior shell, you think you're home free, you're not. There's, there's a, little, there's a little, there's there. little tendons right. or yeah, cartilage. cartilage running yeah. through there that, that is just as tough. Well, what'd you make, Mark? Well, I have uh, some what they call nudi. It's a type of uh, pasta. It's made with ricotta, a Mexican wedding cookie, and eggs, and flour. And then I picked all the meat out 
and I cook that in a little bit of butter. And uh, something I was complaining about when we were doing this was there wasn't enough crab. I got a lot, I mean, I don't want to yeah. toot my own horn here, but I got a lot of crab out. Yeah. I think you just tooted your own horn. Mark, that broth. Nice. Beautiful Delicious. broth. So much flavor. I think the toughest part about the basket was that it was an inherently sweet basket. I, I love the way you've balanced the flavors. And you managed to um, get lunch also in. I got a little lunch. I was yeah. a little hungry. I got mm -hmm. done a little early, so I forgot to get uh -huh, lunch. Uh -huh. You were high fiving yourself <laughs> there towards the end. <laughs> Minnie, what, what about you? So, this is a crab pot pie. Why did you need to make air quotes? Because because it's not a traditional pot pie, it doesn't have a crust in it. Given that it was only 30 minutes, I made a parmesan and a Mexican cookie crust. Like a crumble on top, kind of? Yes. This is great. This is Thank really, you. really flavorful. And I can taste the crab, definitely a main course here. I want to echo what Mark said. I think coming up with the concept of a pot pie to stretch that crab is so brilliant. I mean, pot pies are filling. No one's going to eat that and be hungry. Ted Allen? Uh, it may be a little bit obvious, but I decided to go with the crab cake. So nice l lumps of the crab. Uh, it's a vinaigrette made with the with the vermouth and a little apple cider vinegar. The, um, mm. the asparagus is glazed in the vermouth with a little vegetable stock and some shallots. The crab cake, sometimes, you know, you get that crust and it's sometimes a little bit heavy, but that acidity is just lifting up the flavor of the whole dish. Delicious. And you did something that we always love to see competitors do here, is if something doesn't go right to persevere, and power through. Well, what happened? Your first vinaigrette broke. Oh. You had very little time left, and you went back to it, and you made it, and look, it's totally, totally made the dish. So after having experienced that basket firsthand, what do you think about it now? I think the basket was amazing. We have um, at times seen some ingredients which are really, really difficult to uh, deal with, but we nailed it over here. I agree. Here's I the nail. Agree. Yes. Here's the nail. It's the nail in it. Right on. If you enjoyed this, you're in luck. There are many more to come. Go to foodnetwork.com slash chopped to learn more.